Again, with that investigation into the sexual assault on a school bus. It was the victim's second day at school in Palm Beach Gardens, and the assault took place during her 30-minute ride home. News Channel 5's Alana Quillen live tonight with why the district police chief says this is a reminder that parents need to have tough conversations with their kids. Alana? Well, that incident happened last Tuesday, August 14th. Names, ages, and the school have been withheld, but the police report does say that the boy involved has been arrested. Now, the victim, who is a senior in high school, notified police less than two hours after she got off the bus. August 14th, a student says she was sexually assaulted by a boy as she rode the bus home from school. According to the police report, the boy cornered her in the seat and told her not to move or say anything. He then put his hand in her shirt and down her skirt. Repeatedly, the victim told the boy no and stop and tried to move away from him. No doesn't mean yes, no means no. Carol Gordon Massam with Victim Services says this incident highlights the importance of not being afraid to speak up. You can be loud. Stop. You know, I, I'm, I don't want this. Go away. Why are you doing this? And it alerts others that's in the area to pay attention. In the report, the victim says she was warned by the boy that he, quote, knows where she lives. It's weakness. They prey on because they're weak. And don't be afraid. Police confronted the boy who they say admitted to the assault and regretted what he did. School District Police Chief Frank Kitzero issued a statement saying, quote, this incident is a reminder that we have to have hard conversations with our children about how to protect themselves from predators who could be anywhere and of any age. I commend young people when they go home to talk about their day and talk about things that are bothering them or people who are harassing them because the only way to get help is to tell someone. Now, surveillance video on the bus corroborated the victim's story. The boy, according to police, faces charges of sexual battery and for kidnapping for holding the victim against her will in the bus seat. Reporting live in West Palm Beach, Alana Quill, WPTV News Channel 5.